It's your boy Dope Boy TV back in this thing with some more topics on the floor, man. And if you want to be a part of Dope Boy TV gang, all you got to do is put it down in the comments, man. Y'all make sure y'all go follow me on all my social medias Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We got the topics on the floor. Let's get straight Dope into Dope Boy it. TV gang, what's good, man? We back in this thing with another topic on the floor. And for today's video, we got none other than Fulio in the building, man. You know, I'm gonna ask y'all before we get in the video like, share, and to subscribe, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Hit that post notification. Hit that bell for post notification. But let's get straight into the video. So, Fulio took to his, I believe this is Facebook, where he was trying to, you know, talk to his gang members or talk to his brothers, partners, whatever you want to call it, friends. And he wanted to speak on something very serious, which is the bro code. Now, when I'm saying the bro code, people probably just, you know, it's flying over your head. But especially... When you and another group of people got some of the same mindsets and are basically y'all have the same mission to accomplish or the same goals. You get what I'm saying? And there's certain things that you feel me when you got a group of people and y'all working. Let's just put it like this. Right. You starting your own business. Right. You want a team of people who you're going to have to trust. That's not going to treat your business like any business you want them to treat it like it's their house you feel me respectful you want them to make sure they you feel me marketing it like it's their business it's just certain stuff and it's like he put a list of like i'm probably like what one to ten things which people or he said in his words some of y'all niggas forgot the bro code number one main chicks is off limit everybody else food number two don't F with my family unless you're ready to fall in love, nigga. Number three, we fight together. Simple. That should be self-explanatory, really. If I'm effed up, you helping me get back right, vice versa. Meaning if I fall down, I'm going to be your crutches. If, you, if I fall down, you're going to be my crutches. You get what I'm saying? Number four, no, number five, excuse me. Never tell females what we discuss. Six, stop trying to compete. This is, is the realest one to my eyes, and I don't even want to read no more just because I want to elaborate on that. He says stop trying to compete. You know what bring down organization or what's going to burn down that bridge is when y'all turn on each other. That's why I'm a quote little baby. Man, he had a song. I forget the name. I can't even think of the name of the song, but somebody put it down in the comments. He got a song where he like, the only competition I got is me who I'm going to lose to. Because if I'm the only person that I'm facing is myself, I can't lose. And if we all on the same accord, we're, we all won. We, you get what I'm saying? This group is now one. That means we all together, meaning if we competing with ourselves, who we going to lose to? Nobody. But you know what, what do happen when you have an organization and one of the person trying to compete? You have a crisis, and then you have an organization that's going to fail. You can look at 6 9 Hey, they was trying to compete with him. They wanted more money. Ooh, 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 ooh. 6 9 did what he did. Look at the organization now, and this rat walking around living his best life. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this whole situation down in the comments. It's your boy, Doughboy TV. If you're rocking with me, you already know. Subscribe. If not, kick rocks.